What's going on everyone? So back for another video. Um, today I just wanted to talk about my 151 collection because I haven't really said a lot about that, have I, recently? Um, obviously I've done a few shorts of me opening packs and stuff, but I just want to show you how I'm getting on. And I've got a little package here. This is a card. It's a very special card. It is Giovanni's Charisma, the full art. This came today. So I'm going to show you now why this is a very special card. I'm so excited. Um, it's in pretty good condition as well. Obviously, I wouldn't have bought it. But yeah, we're going to get this down in the binder. Now I'm going to show you my binder and show you how I'm getting on with the, the 151 collection. Like I said, I didn't want to make this like a Pokemon channel. Obviously, I... I do like Pokemon, I got all the Pokemon games and things like that, but I didn't want it, the cards to overtake the channel because this is more of a gaming channel. Having said that, I'm going to drop in with a few Pokemon related things. So I'm going to show you the binder anyway, show you how I'm getting on with my set, and we'll go from there. So let's get downstairs and get this tucked away in the binder. Right, so here we are. Here's my binder. This is my set of 151. I picked this binder up. I didn't realise it was a top loader binder, so the cards were falling out everywhere. So I've ended up having to put every card in a top loader. So I'm not going crazy. It's just every time I turn the page, a card will fall out or fall to the side. So that's the reason I've done that. Well, that's the first page complete. And then so on and so forth. These are just all the standard cards and reverse hollows. I do like the look of them in top loaders, mind, and it is going to keep all of the cards super safe, isn't it? And it's going to keep them pristine because all of these are just packed to pack to binder, so they're all going to be like brand new in effect. And now we're getting on to the more juicy cards. So we've got the, the Bulbasaur, the Ivysaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, and Wartortle. Then the Caterpie, the Pikachu, Needle King, Psyduck, Poliwhirl. What's that one? Marchoke, isn't it? Tangler, Mr. Mime, Ammonite, Dragonair. Then onto the full arts then, so we've got the Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Arbok, Ninetales, and so on, you get the picture. I really like these two cards, they're really nice cards. So it brings me on to the last page. So this is why this card was so special, because it's the last card I needed to complete my set. So that is the full set now of 151 complete. What I did here as well, I took an energy and a hollow energy, so I just paired them up like you would with a, a reverse hollow and a normal card. And then I haven't got every single promo, but I've got the, the starters, the Zapdos, the Alakazam, the Snorlax, Mewtwo, and then the Mew out of the UPC box. I do have the metal card, but I, I had to I put that behind here. Purely because with this binder, I was one space short to get them all the cards in I wanted to get in and to do, be able to do this. But that's that. So I really love this card as well and this one. I think the Zapdos and the Alakazam are really nice cards. The full arts and the secret art illustrations. But um, yeah, I'm super, super excited now that I've done that. That's amazing over the moon but yeah it's 151 complete completed it mate so there we are gang that is my collection of my 151 scarlet and violet finally done it it's taken me about three months three and a half months been a bit of a grind and not cheap because 151 has been a bastard to get hold of just can't get it anywhere but i have noticed people are starting to get it in again and there is news of a reprint i think so fingers crossed for everyone else who's still trying to get the full set but i just wanted to show this binder as well quickly it's made by coda cards it's a really really premium binder i got this from the collector sector in evervale south wales 
I'll tag them down in the description so you can check them out. But yeah, really nice, nice binder this is. And Gav down there is a legend, so he'll look after you. Really, really like this. I did have the 151 binder, but I just think this is a lot more premium. I just wanted something nicer to keep my set in. And now they are all in top loaders. I just think they look absolutely outstanding. Really, really shows off the set. And, you know, the, the expensive ones is, is going to keep them all safe, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm over the moon with this binder. So thank you, Gav, for that. Really appreciate it, mate. Um, but, yeah, I just think that looks ace, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm struggling with this. This binder's mega heavy now. No, it's full and it's full of top loaders. There's a fair old weight to this bad boy. But um, yeah, so that's my collection. 151 is complete. Drop in the comments what set you think I should collect next. I do want to do a full base set, so I'm thinking of that. But I may go down the celebrations, I don't know. So drop in the comments what set you want me to collect. Alex, I know you're probably going to tell me to collect every set. I can't afford to do that, mate. I am not a man of your means, and plus a lot of my money goes on gaming. I'm not just strictly Pokemon like yourself. So bear that in mind, man. I'm not going to collect everything. But there we are. That is the 151. If you like the video, I know it's only a short video. It's just a quick update of where I'm at with my set, and I'm done. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because... I really want some subs. I want to get to 3,000 by the end of the year. That is the goal. Little goal. 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2024 would be absolutely amazing. So thank you all for coming back. And if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Wayne. This is Wayne's Retro World. And I shall catch you on the next video. So take care. Stay safe. Ta-da.